Welcome in, Greg Ruff and Coach Ryan Schmaltz, the baseball coach here at Treveca. And uh, there's snow outside right now. Yeah, I don't know. Pe maybe people from our conference don't really want to hear about it because it's like a half inch out there. But there is snow out on your baseball field right yeah, now. Yeah, it's like clockwork. Once baseball season starts, you usually get a couple snowstorms. So, but you guys are still working. I've seen you guys come back already for the semester, and and just talk about the work ethic of your team. I really, I really see it every day. Well, you know, I mean, we we try to eliminate things that we don't have any control over. You know, any distractions. Uh, you know, like the weather, like, um, you know, field conditions, things like that. You know, we don't really have control over those, and it's no excuse for us not to work, you know, every day. I mean, our guys get up early in the morning and lift every day. We, um, you know, we work hard on the field in, in spite of the, the, the cold and, the and you know, the wet conditions. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're hungry, you know. I mean, it's, it's, not, um, it's not anything out of the ordinary. I mean, they've done that from the day they got here until now, you know. So it's, um, you know, it's something that's expected. Um, you know, and and uh, it's just kind of a a standard that's been set, the, the work ethic here. A lot of times people will ask the question, you know, how do you – I mean, you've won three in a row. You guys have been blessed to win three conference championships in a row. And I say blessed because it's been hard a couple of times. And, uh, and it will continue. It's only going to get harder and harder. But how do you motivate guys that are seniors that have never lost a conference championship? How do you communicate to them uh, that it is going to be hard? They know. I don't think I have to communicate that to them. Um, they, they've they been through it. They know the, the teams that, um, you know, that, that are going to be gunning for us, and, and, and they know that the other teams, um, you know, they, they want a taste of what we've had for the past couple of years. Um, so, you know, they, they realize the challenge in front of us. I, you know, we, we, have, we have a lot of goals that, that are um, extremely high, uh, higher than, than winning a conference championship even, but um, you know, those are set forth at the very beginning, but, but on a practical day-to-day -day basis, uh, that's the furthest thing from our mind, to be honest with you. We're just trying to be the very best we can in the weight room. We're trying to be the very best we can, can, we can during, you know, bunt defenses and, and hitting in the cages and scrimmages and, and um, just that day-to-day -day process of, of doing our very, very best and, and what our job is for that particular day, um, on the field or off. You know, that's kind of what we're, uh, you know, what we're talking about um, you know, doing every day. And so it's not, you know, it's, it's not something that we feel uh, the pressure of on a day-to-day -day basis at all. Some years you lose 9, 10, 11 players in baseball, sometimes maybe even more than that, if a couple of guys decide not to continue playing. This past year you lost a pretty low number as baseball goes, but it was a strong number. Yeah. Uh, talk yeah, about those guys. It was, and, and that's going to be a, an obstacle for us to overcome this year for sure is, is the guys that we lost. Um, you know, we lost some leadership, you know, for sure with Clayton, uh, with Jimmy, with Mike. Uh, you know, we lost the conference pitcher of the year. Uh, we lost the region player of the year in Hunter. Um, you know, we knew he had a chance of getting drafted. We weren't sure um, about that, you know, if he was going to or not and ended up signing. Um, so that was, you know, that, you know, he put up video game numbers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was ridiculous the year he had, and, and we're very, very uh, happy for him and, and his professional career getting started. But, um I think we can overcome that. I think we're much deeper on the mound this year. Um, I really, really like our recruiting class. Some of the freshmen uh, are going to step in and give us significant innings on the mound. We're much deeper. Um, I think we have a more talented roster, more athletic roster. Um, I think we can make up for that productivity from those guys collectively. I don't think the pressure's on any one player, um, you know, but we have just about everybody in our lineup coming back, and I think collectively we can – um, you know, we can make up for that, that loss and, and uh, the productivity there. Uh, you do have a, a, a nice class coming back, too. Talk a little bit about the guys that are coming back, specifically the everyday guys. Um, you know, th from a, an offensive standpoint, Tyler Tishner is, is a guy who stands out. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, uh, he's going to be a four-year starter for us, and, and um, you know, he puts a lot of pressure on teams. You know, I think he's had at least close to 100 hits in, in his first three years, and mm -hmm. we expect him to have another terrific year. Um, you know, our entire outfield is back. You know, we got some really athletic guys that can really defend um, in the outfield. Um, you know, guys that can really run. Um, you know, behind the plate, Zach Tompkins comes to mind. You know, somebody who's yeah. uh, a good leader, handles the pitching staff, kind of has been through the ups and downs of some, some college seasons and, and understands his role back there. And, um, you know, on the mound, too, you know, we got, uh, you know, Brian uh, Smith coming back and Mason Dunn's going to be healthy. Um, you know, John Bolton's coming back as a weekend starter. A lot of those guys we, we expect big things from once again. All right. 
That's Coach Ryan Smaltz, the baseball coach here at Treveca. They're the three-time GMAC champions and looking for a fourth in the row. It won't be easy, but he's got a pretty good squad to go out there and battle every day. We thank you for watching. I'm Greg Gruff. Joining me is Brian Smith from the Treveca baseball team and our GMAC preview. And obviously, uh, this is a, a year you come in. This could have been your senior year, but an injury has made this your redshirt junior year. Uh, talk about coming off an injury like you did and, and, and the work that you did and just uh, how you felt pitching uh, during what was then your sophomore year last year. Uh, it was definitely something that was really frustrating, at, at least early on, because we were I was on an extremely strict pitch count, frustrating because I wanted to try to stretch out in games, but coaches always know what's best. They kept me kept me leveled um i was glad we got later on in the season got to move it up a little bit stretch it out got to a couple complete games later on in the year get six or seven innings in a piece and uh it turned out all right for us we won a good gmat conference championship that's three years in a row and it's kind of neat this this class uh that is coming through right now has a chance to win it every year of their career i think that probably has got to be a little bit of pressure but also uh feels like a great opportunity yeah, it really does. I mean, we have the pressure because obviously we've never lost a GMAC championship, so we don't want to be the first class to do it. But it also is a great challenge because we have a big, huge target on our back from everybody within the conference and just puts so much pressure on us, but it, I think we'll rise to the challenge. The You guys won the conference championship, but it was obvious that some of the programs are, are building. And uh, obviously mm -hmm. when you play some of them like Kentucky Westland, Cedarville, Alderson Broadus, uh, really pushed you guys to the limit last year. Does that get, motivate you a little bit to work even harder in the offseason this year? Oh, for sure. We struggled with a lot of those teams last year to a point. I know at least Alderson brought us. They took us down to the absolute wire to win that conference championship, and that was a great series. It was really exciting. Um, I'm just really excited to see how much farther each of them has come this year and see what kind of challenge they put up for us. You guys have a lot of people back, but you lose some guys that were really key to the program. Just talk about those guys that you lost and, and maybe even turn that into how you're going to replace them. Uh, we've lost Mike Purcell, obviously our Friday night guy, game one. Uh, just had a great presence on the mound, great pitcher. We lost our third baseman, Hunter Newman, obviously 22nd round draft pick. So he's really we're really going to miss his bat in the lineup. Um, Clayton Nichols, our shortstop, we lost him, lost Jimmy Daly, yeah. one of our top guys out of the pen. But pitching-wise, we have a lot of young guys that I think are going to throw significant innings this year. And then in the field, we have a couple guys that I think can – you won't completely make up for what we're going to miss with Hunter, but you have some guys that can at least we can patch together enough to, I think, be able to be productive. Uh, talk about your coach a little bit. What, is, what does he bring to the table for you guys? Uh, coach Smalls brings a lot to the table. He's been here. I, didn't, I actually didn't sign with him, but he got here like right after I signed. Um, he's a great guy. Always talks about the process, building the team, which is exactly what we've done since we've been here. We've got, I think we've gotten better every year, significantly better talent level every single year. So Smalls is just – a phenomenal coach and it's you can't even uh count the kind of stuff he brings to the program all right this is brian smith he's a junior for the treveca trojans and a red shirt junior you'll be out there uh, quite a bit you'll see him uh, throughout the years the trojans try to defend their gmac championship